Now that you know how to hack your gag reflex, maybe it's a good time to describe what a reflex is. Basically, it's your body's automatic and often instant reaction to a stimulus. You have a lot of them, and in most cases, you're probably better off letting your body do its job. But luckily, we have a hack to help control one of the more bothersome reflexes. The sneeze. We don't want to get rid of the sneeze. It's our body's way of expelling germs and unwanted particles. But wouldn't it be nice to stop one when it comes at a bad time? It only takes a couple of seconds to sneeze. But did you ever wonder what's going on in your body during that time? It's a lot more complicated than you might think. Dr. Armand Dorian takes us through the process. When you sneeze, nerves in the nose send an impulse to the medulla or lower brainstem. In turn, this triggers a response in our bodies where chest and throat muscles contract. Our eyes and throat close, and air along with saliva and mucus are forced out of our nose and mouth. And it's more powerful than you probably ever thought. A sneeze travels at speeds between 70 and 100 miles an hour and happens in just two to three seconds. The sneeze is a protective reflex. So once it reaches a certain point, you can't stop it. However, a sneeze happens in two phases, sensation and respiratory phase. During the sensation phase, you've got about a two to three second window where you can take control by overpowering the sneeze impulse by distracting it with a larger, more intense impulse. A few examples of techniques that may work for you are tickle the roof of your mouth with your tongue, pinch or tap the tip of your nose, pinch under your nose, pinch your upper lip, push the pressure point between your eyebrows. While there's no guarantee that any of these techniques will help stop your sneezing, they do work for many people and they might work for you.